a special mention this year, showing solo alpinism at a very high level, with the minimum of means as the watchword. For 20 years, this Catalan has been accumulating considerable achievements on the great faces across the globe, in Alaska, Canada, Chile, India, Mali, Pakistan, Peru. For the most part, the walls that she climbed were void of all human trace. Uncompromising on her own ethical code, she left alone in these isolated regions, for the most part totally self-dependent, without GPS, without weather forecasts, without any form of communication. She wished fully, 100%, to be undisturbed by the world outside. These acts of bravery and determined resolution call for days and weeks in the mountains. For the route Nofragi on the Valdang Peak in India, she spent 25 days alone on the face. It rained every day. This was, after all, the monsoon season. It was probably a bad idea, she says. In Chile, in 2012, she started by fixing the first 350 metres of rope. She then cast off for 32 days on the face. That is to say, a total of almost two months alone in this little known and wild area. Her longest epic was in Alaska, with an extremely long approach, taking her 36 days of portering. 11 return trips for the ascent and nine return trips for the descent, with a cumulative total of 540 kilometers. The 17 days on the wall seemed short in comparison. Her climbs were carried out in capsule style, never returning to the foot of the face. She obviously preferred minimal gear. If she was forced to drill bolts, it was done by hand, and sparingly at that. Time and space for Sylvia is different than for other climbers. This is one of her assets. Even after two decades of effort and self-sacrifice, she preserves an astonishing willpower. Last year, she climbed for a month 1,180 metres Sincronia Magica on the El Cholino Grande in Chile. For a warm-up, a dozen days were spent carrying 150 kilograms of gear. The famous Patagonian winds are not a myth. She couldn't leave her tent for 10 days, not knowing if or when there would be a let-up. She still refused a weather forecast. To top it all, an even stronger gust of wind managed to overturn her porter ledge with her in it. Sylvia is definitely a special climber. <laughs>